Noguchi traveled to Japan in the early 50s, he was invited to go to the city of Gifu uh, in Japan and he uh, was asked by the mayor of Gifu to rethink uh, the, uh, the industry of the, uh, of the paper lamps and he was the first one who uh, modernized the Japanese paper lamp and put an electrical light bulb in it and he, from that time, from 1951, created his first prototype and then um, over the years created hundreds of different models and shapes and over the years um, it really has conceived the Akari as a form of sculpture but you could almost call it a social sculpture in the sense that it's something that can um, enter the house of the people. So with Noguchi, he's an artist who kind of straddles the boundaries of art and design, making sure that the, the crossover between them is really fluid. And he's been very influential. If you look at the works here, you'll see that he has inspired many furniture designers and designers, other designers that have come after him. So it's a long career and you get to see the full evolution of his work here. Yes, I think when art crosses over to something more functional, I think it becomes sometimes more relatable to certain people. So you've got this idea of you look at things and you think they're beautiful objects, but they're also something you could have in, say, a home. So it's that kind of crossover where you think, ah, this is an artist who appeals to both my sensibilities and love of both art and design. So when you look at his work, you can tell that he's got both Eastern and Western influences. I mean, even someone who is not that familiar with Eastern and Western practices could look at this show and say, oh, I can see there's relevance to Western sculptors who came before him, and there's Eastern design, especially in the sort of paper lanterns. And that crossover really ensures that he is drawing from both elements of his heritage. Well, the uh, Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor in December 1941 was a big, uh, had a big impact on Noguchi. He, you know, wrote very famously, I no longer felt like a sculptor, I became a Japanese American. It's consciousness of his uh, uh, identity and his double background, cultural background, became very strong at that point and he became very active in acknowledging and thinking further about his identity. Yeah,